Kentucky Preps exclusive interview with the newest Kentucky Wildcat, Wandell Robinson. Wandell, first and foremost, what happened? Because you told me you were going to Nebraska. And that was last, that was, that was like a couple days ago. We had all the stories ready, all the graphics, and, and basically last 11th hour change. What's the deal, man? Um, it really just came down to the trust factor and looking at the scenarios on if the worst thing that could happen and where I would want to be in the worst case scenarios of things. And so obviously Kentucky was where I felt the most comfortable and where I had the most trust with the coaching staff. So, so you had trust with Nebraska for a while there, up until, you know, yesterday. Is that is that correct? I mean, did you make the change yesterday? Um, I'd say so, yeah. We, there was some conversation that happened with the ones that were closest to me. And, there were in some conversations that were for the ones that were closest to me, and I just really had to come to the decision of where I would want to be either way. So, okay. Now, um, what what do you want to know? What do you want the Kentucky fans to know? Uh, what kind of player? What kind of young man are they getting right now? Um, I mean, obviously they're getting a really really good guy, a really good person. Um, loves just loves people, loves being around. I love being the hometown kid, love being that type of type of player that everybody knows and that everybody will want to be around. And I mean, obviously they're getting a player that's really exciting to watch and does a lot of different things than normal college football players and really getting the ball in space and making people, making people miss and scoring touchdowns. So. All right, now a lot, of people are calling, a lot of people are calling you the next Rondell Moore. Now you know Rondell, you've trained with Rondell. Um, do you think that's a fair comparison? Are y'all two that similar or what's different? Um, I mean, I'd say we definitely have similarities. I mean, obviously if you look at our measurables and things like that, we obviously are very, very similar, but um, I feel like I bring a little bit more in the backfield than he does. He's a little bit more of a receiver than I am. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I feel like those are the really the big that, – that would be the big difference between us right there. So. All right. Now, um, there was a offensive explosion with Terry uh, Bowden. Is it Bowden? Bowden. With Bowden, he had a really nice game right before uh, you changed your pick right this weekend. Um, do you see yourself – in that kind of a role there, what, what, how are they going to utilize you in that offense? Um, just a lot of different places, obviously, putting me in the slide, and letting me work just in different places, just making sure that I get my touches. That's really the big thing is really making sure that I get my touches and being able to get the ball in my hands and doing a lot of different things. So. All right, now are you going to return punts and kickoffs, or have you talked about that? Um, yeah, I mean, that's the plan right now is being able to do both and not really um, being limited to one. So. All right, they're going to let you play a little safety? I mean, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. that's not that's not what I'm going to college to be. But if they if they need it, I'll do it. All right. So, um, your family, how happy were they when you changed your mind and decided to stay home? I, I know you've got a large extended family. Uh, the community kind of took you in as a younger kid, and um, just what were they saying when you told them you know what I'm staying home? Uh, they were just really excited. They were excited with wherever I decided to go, but they were obviously really happy that I'll be 30 minutes away from home and they'll be able to watch me play at every home football game, even some of the away games. So it was really, really nice to see that everybody that I really care about will be able to come and watch me play. So. Did they, like, explode in cheering and tears, or was it kind of more like a subdued sigh of relief? Uh, kind of like the relief side of everything. They weren't really, like, cheering or anything yet. I mean, obviously out there they were probably really, really loud and cheering. So that was probably that was the good thing about it. So. All right, so you got a little choked up up there on the stand. Yeah. You know, uh, are you – what's it like? It's, it's, you're done. You know, on to the next chapter. You're an early enrollee. You'll be on campus in January, correct? Right. And um, so, what 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 is your mind right now? Uh, I'm just getting better. I'm figuring out what I need to work on. Figuring out what I need to do in the off season, and really figure out what I need to do before I get there in January, and just what, everything that I can do to be the best way I can be. So. All right. Now you have two trainers. Your father, Dale, is a personal trainer. He looks like a professional wrestler or something. And then you also have Chris Vaughn out in Louisville at Aspirations, who also trained uh, Rondale Moore, Jarris Brents, all of these type of players. So, um, you, are you going to just focus on after the season, just get right in the gym and try to hit the ground running when you get to Kentucky? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm just really the moment my season's over, I'll probably take a little week off just to rest a little bit, get my body back. A right whole up. week. <laughs> yeah, let's see about <laughs> that. But and then. Really just hitting the gym hard with Chris and my dad and really figuring out everything that Kentucky wants me to work on and things that I can do better before I get there. So. Okay, now there's, is there any track you can run? You can run winter track or is that you're going to be at UK by then, aren't you? Um, I'll probably be at UK by then. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right, well you have it here first. Four-star Wandale Robinson is a Kentucky Wildcat. Congratulations. Yes, sir.